Okay, uh, welcome back. So, I did a little bit of research in between episodes, and I found that the best um, crop fields are for like a single person is 4 by 14 or 7 by 8. We were doing 8 by 8, so uh, the problem we were running into was the fact that uh, two people had to maintain it and it just it wasn't a good fit. Eventually we'll switch some of these out. So it's early spring at the moment so nobody had started planting yet anyways. So I think that's fine. Go ahead and remove these as well. Uh, remove structures. Since no one's actually done anything. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's food or what. So we're still dealing with a tool shortage at the moment. And I'm guessing we're also dealing with a very low firewood storage as well. Although, we do have another woodcutter up here. We got a blacksmith there, and then we're building another blacksmith over here. The current issue that we're dealing with is the fact that we don't have really any resources. We have 420 logs, nice. Um... But most of our resources in our main area are gone. Like our non-renewable resources. We have a mine and a quarry. But everyone is currently um, struggling just to uh, have resources. Have the iron, iron and stone. So, let's see. I'm trying to figure out. It's been a little while since I've played the game. Um, okay, we did build one over there, which is good. I think that's like a specific iron stockpile. We got a wood stockpile and then we have a firewood stockpile. So yeah, definitely the issue that seem that we seem to be having is the fact that um, none of this wood is going anywhere. It's all getting stuck like in these stockpiles. And I don't know why it's why um that's the case. So let's see, we have... we definitely don't need that many farmers anymore. Well, we, we might need that many, but let's see. So, two, three, six for sure. Um, and then if... Problem... okay, so we... I think we only need eight over here. Now the question will become, is that enough to deal with uh, the growing population? I think, I can't remember when our last die-off was. As I said, it's been a little while. Um, so... I'm not entirely sure uh, what we were doing, like, and how our situation was prior. Okay, so all the resources resources are here. We only have the one builder, though. We'll move one guy. Let's go ahead and move this back down to speed two for now.
I think we do want to go ahead and build at least one more farm somewhere. I don't know. Go ahead and do that so we'll cancel. And, I mean, we can move these later. Let's go ahead and make more carrots. So we have no limit on food, just as much food as you can make, because I know we're going to need it. be helpful would be good to get another woodcutter maybe not sure like why these guys are walking all over the place though little that sort of weird little graphical effect keeps happening with the the little markers when I move the move around. So unfortunately since nobody has tools it is going to take a while for people to do anything. Do their jobs correctly at least. So I'm going to put this on pause. Put a few things on pause since there's not much point in having um, a bunch of barns that don't have it. There's no point in building more barns. Since all of our barns are basically empty anyways. Poor, poor settlement here. Um, so it might actually be a good idea to get a woodcutter. I don't remember where the woodcutter is. This one? Just so they're doing something down here with all this wood. Then I think as soon as this guy is done, we'll. Well, we might go ahead and prioritize this, anyways. So, this will take care of some of these logs that are down here. Because this is entirely. This is basically full. Has all the necessary stuff for this building. So, we might go ahead and increase priority on it. Now. I don't know if there is a mod that essentially gives you better priority in prioritizing. I'm not sure. It would definitely be kind of nice if that was just built into the game. Can you build a road across here? I think. Yeah, it's just too steep for a road but not steep enough that the pawns will um, will ignore it. And put a pause on that as well. So hopefully this is correct and they're you know actually <laughs> planting the correct amount. Or they can actually take care of their uh, crop.
crop fields. So no one's died yet from starvation. I'm guessing there are probably people who are starving. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> you will always be remembered, Sir Beekeeper. Alright guys, come on. Let's get this... It does look like this guy is building, which is good because we kind of need, kind of need the second blacksmith. You two labor. So yeah, it is unfortunate they start dying. I mean, we do have some stored food. Be nice if our um, food producers weren't the ones dying. That's kind of kind of who we need most of. But it means a little more food for everyone else. Prioritizing these. Obviously, I want this blacksmith done first. Maybe it's just because we're on speed 2 or something, I don't know. Definitely feels like it's taking a lot longer. Silk, if I remember correctly, silk cocoons are what our main source of trading is. Okay, no one's currently hungry, which is a good sign. There's a trader coming, that's also a good sign. See what this guy has to offer. So, yeah, this is completely full, but over time it does uh, go away. Like, um, I am going to say yes. 666. I wonder if those numbers are like uh, regenerated. Because I know 666 is. I've seen it before in these trade screens. All right, um, so let's start with 50. This is where having a calculator open is probably for the best. But if I eat, so we'll go with uh, 83. Need straight up trade the perfect amount. So that will, I think that will help a lot. Get, uh, hopefully give us a little bit of a buffer. Actually, 
Unfortunately, people are still going hungry. I guess the corn hasn't moved yet. Um, I'm going to remove this stockpile here. And I'm going to just make it a little smaller so that um, we can fit this road in. Thankfully, you don't have to waste time building a stockpile. Interesting. Still died from starvation, even though we have we now have a good chunk of food. I don't know. It's I guess it's whatever. Um, okay. Pause for a second. I just want to take a look here. Um, so... Who, who's our... Currently have three woodcutters. We got one down there. These guys. This wasn't the one that just finished, I think. I think we're still waiting on that. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. We, need, we definitely need to... Put this guy in there. Another person in the mine. Nine and nine is probably fine. Early autumn, hopefully, we can get all these crops taken care of. So at some point, we'll probably get rid of these and just replace them. Still having trouble with food. Has anyone taken care of this corn? I guess they have. Interesting. I wonder where all the corn went then. Um, right. Yeah. This game is all about managing how much you're producing versus how much you're consuming. And I suppose that's kind of the kind of the name of the game for pretty much all city builder type games. Um but especially with this one, I find that that's the case. Woodcutter, Forester, we should probably get another Forester on. It feels like we don't really have enough wood. Maybe that's just because it's all in stockpiles. Or not where it needs to be, I suppose. So, yeah. We're going to we're definitely going to be losing people to starvation here. Fortunately, it is really hard to keep uh, food, apparently. Probably put another tailor on if we can. Because it does look like we're out of stored clothes. Stored firewood, food, somebody's starting to get cold. I think there is like a mod that will essentially allow people to pick up these sort of 
the shrubs and stuff that uh, your gatherer's huts would normally get when you collect these areas. Or collect in these areas. Stone cutter. It's like we're out of laborers again. And I closed that window. No. Yeah. I always like to have this window and this window up. They're probably the two most helpful windows. Such a depressing game. <laughs> like, it is fun, but I think we're at kind of a point in the game where it's just kind of a spiral. It's really hard to get out of. We, we're just trying to... Yeah, there's just... There's not enough food, apparently. But... I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it at the moment. I think having more trading buildings will uh, send more traders. Definitely part of the reason I think is because of how like hard it is to get resources from places from one place to another. That definitely feels like part of the reason. Because, like, there's no wood logs over here. Even though there's an entire stockpile down here that nobody's coming to. Uh, trade. Walnut seed. Don't think we have enough to buy those, unfortunately. I forget what the calculation was on these, but... So, two, we need, yeah, we would need about 300 or so, a little over 300 in order to, oh, do we not actually have enough farmers now? Great. <laughs> It is just insane how many people we keep losing. We definitely need a trader that's going to... Yeah, well... Can't really do much about a low iron supply here. is almost done. You know, we can't really take... Yeah, let's take one off the fishing dock. Because I, I kind of want to keep uh, someone producing pools. Because it looks like we're starting to actually recover enough tools. This is definitely not the most ideal. Um, let's see if we can get a couple stone. I'm surprised that we can't keep stone, because, like, we're not really using 
a whole lot of it. And I mean, we're we have a quarry constantly producing stone. Sorry if you can hear my chair. It is so squeaky. Actually pretty ridiculous. <laughs> um, I think it's fine to... Uh, no, I think it is fine to keep the herbalist off right now. So many people is just insane. Still can't keep a surplus of food here. Well, part of the problem is definitely we keep losing our farmers. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really wish I could be a little better at this. Honestly, I don't know what else I could have really done differently to prevent this much death and despair in our, our poor little town. I definitely... I, I blame part of it on this. Like, the fact that there's 200 wood down here that's not coming up to, like, our woodcutters is part of the issue, I think. I'm not quite sure really how to, like, handle this. Maybe that would be fixed if we had a mod that made the AI a little smarter about it, or what? I don't know. Um, personally I would prefer if you... If you didn't work here, and you worked here instead. Augs is low. Yeah, it, it's only showing up as low because this is technically not a stockpile right now. Yeah, like, this is a wood stockpile. There's no wood that's staying here. Maybe that's just because it keeps getting consumed so quickly, or something? I don't know. On the upside, the small upside, um, we are starting to replenish our tools. Which is nice to see. Um, right. Because all of our farmers keep dying. Um, no one's taking care of these fields that need to get uh, harvested. Go ahead and reclaim that one just so we can get some of our supplies back. I would definitely prefer if farmers lived over here, and I don't know if there's really a way to just kick people out. Another issue is might be because we just have so many houses, and maybe I should have been focused on upgrading some of them more. I don't know. Um, but I think that's a good place to put a cut for now. So 
So I will see you guys next time and thanks for watching.